Hey there, Internet. Keith here, and welcome to the Cars of Keith YouTube channel. And is this the best beginner car washing setup on the market? Let's find out. Now, this is from a company called Toolsy or Toolsi. This one right here was 99 bucks when I bought it. Now, it says the working pressure is 1400 PSI and the working GPM is 1.3, which if those are working numbers, that's pretty good because 1400, we can dial it down with some nozzles and get it to a really good 1000 PSI, 900 PSI and get that higher GPM. Here's the gun that comes with it. Look familiar? Same casing as an essential washer, same casing as an M Mingle, same casing as a McKillens. M22 14 millimeter at the bottom, quarter inch quick disconnect at the end, all brass, very nice solid gun. Pull is a little tense, same pull as an essential washer and the others, but when it's pulled, the handle itself and the trigger pull isn't taking a whole lot of real estate. So when you do grip it with your hand, you don't feel that hand fatigue. Now this is what I would like to call a mix between an Uberflex hose and the really crappy plasticky hoses that come with most of these. It is much more flexible. You have M22, 14 millimeter fittings at the end, 25 foot as well. So about five foot longer than most pressure washers that are about 18 to 20 feet. 25 is more than enough to get around the car. You get a baggie of nozzles. They're all 2.7 orifices, which is quite weird because normally with a pressure washer like this, you would see there'd be about 1.7 to two. So you have your white, your orange, your green, and your, your red, your 0, 15, 25, and 40, plus a detergent tip. Here's your foam can. Very no frills, very cheapy, but it should be effective. Now, I've already checked it is a 1.25 orifice inside, and it does have a nice O-ringed. You see the O-ring right there? Really nice because you can hand tighten this and you won't need a tool. So you can see it has an orifice in there, so you can change this out to a 1.1 to get better foam. The top is adjustable. More water, less water for less foam and more foam. Then the top is adjustable for your stream and your fan spread. It does not adjust from vertical to horizontal. Basically kind of like a Greenworks Ryobi style it looks like. The casing is kind of cheapy. Uh, looks like just basically a basic mold. It has a GFCI, a pretty decent cord. I think about 15 feet or so, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, it does have your M22 14 millimeter, I believe from factory that looks like a 15 millimeter. And then they did this adapter because this is 2.7. So it's kind of in between the 2.5 and the 3.0, which for this type of pressure washer are the ones that most people use. We have a 2.0, a 2.5, a 3.0 and a 3.5. We'll test the PSI on each one. We'll only do the gallons per minute rating on maybe one or two of them. Since this comes with a 1.25 orifice, I have a 1.1 orifice that we can test the foam level between them. I believe to have awesome, awesome foam you're going to need the 1.1. So that's enough talking. It's time for testing. Before we get to that, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget the links below and check out carsakeep.com. So I have an amp meter here. That's gonna let us know if the 1.1 orifice on the foam cannon or one of these smaller nozzles is too much for the pressure washer. Our 14 millimeter N22, it's gonna go right in. And the best thing in the world about these M22 connections, hand tight, without a tool. So if you're going to use this gun that doesn't have the swivel on it, you're going to want to straighten this hose out first before you screw it into the gun. Once you get it unraveled, it's going to be much more, more manageable. Uh, once you try to get that memory of that coil out, hook the hose up right there. And one pump from this right here is exactly one ounce, which is what I want. With incredible suds, you only need one ounce of soap. You use code cars to keep at DIYdetail.com to save 10%. I just want to check the spray powder out without it having any pressure. Pretty decent. Now we'll turn it on. Ooh, that was a quick on and off. No ramp up, no ramp down. Instant on, instant off. Let's just get right into foaming. We got this all the way to the right. Yeah. That's actually some pretty good foam from a 1.25 orifice. So as a beginner, it's a good way to start. 1.1. Well, 
Forget using a 1.1. That that did not like that at all. What was the what was the amperage on that? I can't even get a long enough reading. It keeps shutting off before it can actually read the amount of amperage. I mean, the spray with what I got, it feels like a Ryobi. It feels like a Greenworks. Now we'll start testing pressure. So this is the stock tip 2.7 orifice. almost 800 so this is definitely out of the box meant for car washing but 800 is a bit low i would at least, i would like to stay in minimum 900 but you could run uh 800 but i would run with the 25 degree and not with the 40 degree let's put the 25 degree on there so you can see the difference so since your overall pressure is lower we're concentrating it it has a little more cleaning power, but the difference is, is the fan isn't as big. It takes a little bit longer to rinse the car off this way. I'm going to try a 3.0, but I got a feeling that this is the, not the direction we're going to want to go. Yeah, like just a little bit over 700. So that's the wrong direction. Let's go to a 2.5. That's only going to be a 0.2 difference. So I'm only thinking maybe 50. PSI difference. Ooh, I don't think it likes the extra pressure. So that makes your decision real easy. Stick to the stock orifice. Have a bucket with little measuring marks on it. And we will run the clock at exactly one minute. We will run the pressure washer and then we'll see how much is in there. And that's your gallons per minute. All right, here we go. What a waste of time. What a waste of time. Like it barely pulls any amps when it's running for anything spare time. It's only like eight or nine amps. Uh, water flow, tremendous amount of water flow going in. Like I said, no leak there. Uh, everything is, is going, is perfect. This is pretty disappointing. They bump it up to a 3.0. Seems to want to work fine with a 3.0. I mean, 750. Is that not disappointing though? Like why, why is the stock nozzle piece not wanting to work. What the frick, man? Let's see if we can get something out of this. 3.0. In between 1.25 and 1.5 gallons per minute. So we're at about 1.38, maybe close to 1.4 gallons per minute. So with the 3.0, it ran that whole minute. I'm not exactly the happiest camper out there, but we did get it to work. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I want to start, but I'm just going to run this thing forever and, and see how long it goes. That way you can make sure that it can go an entire rinse process without screwing up. All right, so that was exactly five minutes, and we were doing a bunch of, in the middle, we were getting the system a little worked up. Now, it's still, it's not hot, hot. It's warm on the sides, but it ran that entire time. Now, we switched the stock nozzle, and like I, I'm telling you, these are perfectly clear. There's nothing there blocking it. Machine has got some kind of fail safe, whether it's back pressure or whatever it is, a motor, how, how much is working. Something is telling it to kind of shut off. And that's what that pulsating come from. Normally when you get a pulsation like that, 
there's debris stuck in the nozzle. But no, or there's a, an air leak, a water leak somewhere. Now, all I got to say is running a 3.0 Orifice nozzle at 750 PSI. This feels pretty good. So it's worth 100 bucks. Yeah, still with the foam cannon, the hose, the spray gun, and the unit. Uh, for a beginner beginner or somebody who's looking to spend as little money as possible but still be able to clean their car without a garden hose to at least have a pressure washer uh, the 3.0 I would suggest these ridge washer nozzle guards they're 20 bucks you get uh, the red the orange the green and the white uh, I would suggest it's 750 psi you, you might be able to get it like slightly more than that than I do but the 25 degree for the cleaning wheels and tires, I would use the 15 degree. But at least now you have the information to make your own decision. What I'm gonna do is in the links below, I'm gonna list everything in the video, but I'll also link my suggested setup. What I think is the best for the money, cheapest solution you can get out there. But also let me know, do you want a video on the cheapest, best solution? Uh, let me know, I'll start getting the things in and start building that and get that video out. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Steve here, and welcome to the Cars of Keep YouTube channel. Beginner car. <clears throat> we have a three five, a two zero. <laughs> and then I stepped on the soap dispenser from my incredible studs, and it shot a bunch of soap on the floor. <laughs> One point two five. Base out of the box, maybe a little more. <laughs> That's why we got nozzle guards. Make sure that clicks. What an idiot. Now, I do gotta say, running the 3.0, I do gotta say, running a 3.0 orifice. Now, I gotta say, running a 3.0 orifice nozzle. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't talk. Oh, water got all in my drawer. The heck? Pay attention, you dumb dumb. Rookie move. <laughs>